It's something the president said last night at the White House that it still has some wondering exactly what he meant. President Trump had dinner with top military commanders and their spouses at the White House. And while posing for a photo in the state dining room, the president volunteered these ominous comments to reporters. You guys know what this represents? Well, I don't know, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? It could be the calm, calm before the storm. What storm, Mr. We President? We have the world's great military people in this room. I will tell you that. And uh, we have a great evening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. Yeah. Give us a hint on your land decision. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Uh, Dave Ignatius, what do you make of those remarks, and what do you think he meant? Well, they're saber-rattling. They're uh, intended to disrupt, to create anxiety about what Trump might do. Uh, I honestly can't uh, that, tell is, you. Is that anxiety inside the Pentagon or outside <laughs> the Pentagon? Uh, I, I think it's anxiety. It's intended to be anxiety out, uh, outside the Pentagon among our adversaries, particularly, I'm sure, in, in North Korea. Uh, also coming uh, over the next week are significant new announcements about Iran and, and tougher steps the U.S. Will, will take toward Iran and Iran's proxies around the Middle East. Uh, that is a, a storm that's that's being uh, cranked up in, in the in the in the back room. Uh, but uh, when you gather your military leaders and make remarks like that, that's a signal. It's very deliberate. Uh, it's uh, intended to put our adversaries on notice uh, that uh, we're prepared to be tough. Uh, President Trump tries to send that message, uh, you know, every other day. It's part of his strategy. Uh, it makes people nervous, and that's, I think, what he wants to do. And uh, Nick, as, as I was alluding to before, it makes people nervous inside the Pentagon. As much as anywhere, this is they, they are not to be used in photo ops. We don't do military parades, although that fact uh, breaks the president's heart every day. So this was his version of a sort of a dining uh, uh, experience, uh, uh, complete with a, a parade of military officials. Look, this is policy as game show. Uh, oh. The president likes to create. Uh, same anticipation for his cliffhangers. Um, it's a little different to do it when military action is at stake. Uh, and look, if he's creating some, some worry for our enemies, he's also creating some worry for our allies and, mm -hmm. frankly, for people like me. You know, I, I, I prefer to have a little shorty on these decisions than have right. it be dangled at a press conference like this. You get the feeling that the lifeblood of Trump, the adrenaline of, of Trump, is if there is not some chaos created, he's not alive. Right. It's just you almost kind of see it as you watch it on his face. And once again, there will be no diagnosis on the show. We, we've agreed on that. I am not going to bring my PhD in, in diagnosing uh, wacky people. But you, there, there is a Tourette's of a need to when things are like this to just ruffle the papers. Well, yeah, I just had to know what 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 was that? And you know, in you there? could make an argument for that if there was an underlying strategy. If, for example, we were trying to head fake Kim, Kim Jong Un to a greater purpose, that we had a strategy other than this ending in a hot war. But when you have scenes like this, days after the president is tweeting out Rex, forget about it. You know, don't right. waste your time on diplomacy. What? Where are we headed? But there was what no is, new missile. The there purpose? was nothing in the last three, four, five, six days that would merit that. So you can't even say, okay, well, this is the the scorch, the the, the fire and brimstone argument. Where did that come from, David Ignatius? I know you don't know where it came from, but what? Where are we sitting right now with North Korea? It's been quieted by uh, volatile weather and, of course, the tragedy in Las Vegas, but. This nuclear standoff continues. Uh, where, where do those words fit into context of the larger North Korean developments? Obviously, we don't know the details, but, but what, we, what we do know is that uh, an effort to engage North Korea diplomatically, uh, which was made publicly and privately by the Secretary of State, has not been successful. The North Koreans have not sent back the message that would allow talks to go forward. It's my sense that both uh, Tillerson and, and indeed the White House, Trump himself, would like that to happen. 
it hasn't happened. So one uh, message the president was sending in warning off uh, Tillerson was, uh, this diplomatic meal is getting cold on the table and we're about to walk away. And I, I think that that was the, what they <coughs> wanted North Korea to hear. People forget that if we were to take significant military action, move up the ladder uh, in dealing with, with North Korea, it would take about two months to get all the logistical supplies in place to be able to work with and protect our allies. So maybe one of the issues that's ahead is if we're moving into a period of greater confrontation are the things that have to begin. That's one thing. As I said before, I do know, I was meeting at, uh, with senior National Security Council officials yesterday, they are preparing a series of announcements about harsher measures to deal with Iran and its proxies, so that's ahead. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.